locate potential change order items. First navigate to Budget and Cost Management and down to PCOs. On this project, we have tons of PCOs, so it's a good idea to group by category. If you would like to create a new potential change order, locate the Create New icon in the top right hand corner and enter a description to start. And click Create. From here, we can enter more details for this potential change order. Off to the right hand side, we can define the category, reason, requested days for completion, importance, and so on. We can also assign this to someone that needs to approve it, such as your architect. In the middle of your screen, we have an area for notes. Any general notes will do here. Below, we have our potential change order items. To add a new item, simply select Add. From this pop-out window, you can enter all the details for this specific PCO item. This may be for the installation of the door itself. Off to the right, you can select the company that this item affects. This could be your subcontractor. You can also assign individual users as well. Below in this area here, we have our budget and cost items, including estimates, proposed amounts, approved amounts, and applied amounts. We also have our budget and cost allocations. As a rule of thumb, budget allocations, the PCO item impacts the budget when the owner or another party agrees to pay for the change. For cost allocations, if you absorb the cost or you pay a subcontractor or the owner pays for the change, you need to select a cost allocation. For more information on budget and cost allocations, please refer to the question mark icon here. Select online help and you can find loads of information about potential change orders, including managing PCO items, which includes budget and cost allocations. Now back to our PCO items. If a budget amount was entered, then a budget code must be selected. I've selected our doors and windows subcontract budget code. If a cost amount was entered, you can also enter a contract number from your contracts. This contract number will be associated with the company that it affects. As of right now, we don't have any contracts associated with the Lakewood company. Let's go ahead and click Done. We're ready to back out of this PCO.